So this practical is all about investigating how the resistance of a component called a thermistor varies with temperature. There are several ways to do that. First thing to do is to plug the thermistor into a meter to measure resistance. So we have a digital multimeter here switched to ohms. So we're reading directly the resistance of the thermistor here. Standard way of doing this is normally to place the thermistor in a beaker of water with a thermometer, heat the water up and measure the resistance and the temperature as they change. Today though, we're gonna use a kettle which is much quicker. And I'm gonna use a temperature sensor connected to a data logger inside the kettle, which reads the temperature. Really just a fancy digital thermometer. So in goes the thermistor, in goes the temperature sensor. Now you can see that we've already got this set up to record the resistance a temperature of 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 90 degrees Celsius. So we turn on the kettle and we start to wait, keeping a close eye on the temperature and a close eye on the resistance to record it as it changes. So we can hear the kettle starting to heat up now. We take our first reading at 20 degrees Celsius. So we're looking at that 0690, we're gonna call that rising rapidly keeping an eye on the resistance there so four nine one we're going to call that now ideally whilst this is happening to get an even distribution of temperature we'd stir the water it'll be hotter at the top than the bottom due to convection. Again, a close eye on that resistance. Looking for our next reading in a moment. Two seventy. All we do is continue to do this until we reach 90 degrees, recording the resistance of the mister, which of course matches temperature wise the temperature of the water. Looking for our next reading in a moment. One nine four. Straight away you can probably observe that the resistance is going down as the temperature rises. For our next reading, one five seven. We need to see that it's there if we can. Looking for our next reading soon. One two three. Oh, one two three. Heading up to our last couple of readings. There we go. Ninety three. And taking our final reading at ninety degrees Celsius. Looking for that any moment now. Eight. And then better. And there we have it. A set of results which we can use to plot a graph to show how the resistance of our thermistor changes as the temperature changes.